Hey guys, this is Nate here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to root your Samsung Galaxy S4 on Windows, Mac, or Linux. So, uh, I recently came across this new root method here on the XDA Developers Forum, and all the credit goes to this guy right here. Uh, he had discovered a met an exploit that could be used on Motorola devices, and has discovered that that same exploit also works on Samsung Galaxy. Galaxy S4s uh, with a Snapdragon processor in them, so that would include the AT&T Sprint and T-Mobile branded model. So it is only April 26th. I just got my hands on this device yesterday, and uh, the AT&T model doesn't even go on sale until tomorrow on retail stores. So it's still very, very early, and I'm assuming uh, there will be many more tools that will come out to help root your uh, Galaxy S4. But this is one of the first that I've seen. So if you do have your hands on the Galaxy S4 right now, here is a method that you can use, and it, I can confirm that it does work. So I'll show you guys how to do that uh, in this video and the process is very much the same across uh, Windows, Mac, and Linux. So I'll, I'll cover the differences in this tutorial. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is head over to this form post right here. I will provide a link to it in the description. You're going to want to download the exploit uh, right here. Once you've downloaded it, I recommend putting it somewhere uh, that you can easily find. So I put it on my desktop, and then you're going to want to extract that file. So if you're on Mac, you can uh, just extract it directly. If you're on Windows, you might need to uh, download a program like Win WinRAR to go ahead and do that. Uh, the next thing that you're going to want to do then, uh, as according to the instructions here, is make sure you have the latest Samsung drivers. Now, you'll only need to do this if you are on a, a Windows machine, and what you're going to want to do is head over to the Samsung Download Center, I'll provide that link in the description as well. Uh, go to the search box, just type in Samsung Galaxy S4, and you're going to want to choose your model. So I have the AT&T Black Mist one, select the one that corresponds to your device. Then you'll select the Downloads tab here and you're just going to want to go ahead and download this file right here. It will go ahead and install those drivers for you. Uh, once you've done that, you're going to want to head over to your device. Alright guys, so the next thing you're going to want to do is enable USB debugging on your Samsung Galaxy S4. So you can do that by heading into the Settings application and go to the More tab. And the first thing that you'll have to do is enable Developer Options. So I've already done that, but I'll show you guys how to do it. Head into About Device and scroll down to where your build number, the build number of your device is and then you just keep tapping on that multiple times. Now you'll see it says uh, no need for me to enable it since I've already done that, but basically you'll keep on uh, tapping on that and it'll, it says uh, uh, developer options will be enabled in four, uh, four more steps, three more steps, two more steps, and then one more step, and you just keep clicking on it until that message goes away, and then uh, you will have developer options enabled right here, and then you can go ahead and open that up. And then all you gotta do is just uh, check the uh, box that says an allow USB debugging, and then we're done with this step. The next step then is plugging your S4 into your computer and you're going to want to go ahead and access that Moto Chopper file uh, that we downloaded earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Uh, if you're on Windows, what you're going to want to do is run the um, file in here that says, that's called run.bat. So you can go ahead and run that batch file uh, if you're on Windows only. Now if you are on Linux or OS X, you're going to want to open up the terminal application. So I've got that open already. And then what you're going to want to do is navigate to where you have the Moto Chopper uh, file located. So I put it on my desktop. So I type in CD desktop and then CD Moto Chopper. And then the next thing that you're going to want to do is type in the command uh, period and then forward slash run dot sh. Go ahead and press enter. Uh, and then you'll see uh, it says press enter to go ahead and root your phone. So we'll do that. It says waiting for device and it's starting successfully and then a message just appeared on my S4 that says allow USB debugging. I'm going to go ahead and uh, press OK and I'm going to check mark the box that says also uh, always allow from this computer. And we'll go ahead and wait for this process to uh, continue running. Uh, a new message just appeared that says verify app so I'll check agree. And then we'll give this a few minutes and now it says exploit complete. Uh, press enter to reboot and exit, so I'll do that. And my uh, phone is now rebooting and you can see the process is now finished up here on my device. So we'll go ahead back and take a look at the S4. Alright, so now that we're done with the actual rooting process, you can see that Super User has been installed here uh, in the app drawer. And if we go ahead and open it up, uh, you can see that there's currently nothing in here. Uh, but if we do go ahead and open up, I did install the root checker basic application. We can go ahead and use this to verify that we have root access. So we just uh, uh, select the box right there. And we're going to go ahead and allow uh, this to have root access. 
and you can see here, congratulations, this device does in fact have root access. You can see this process was very, very simple. All it involves is just getting your device uh, prepared uh, to be rooted through the USB debugging and downloading the drivers if you need them on Windows, and then just uh, downloading the exploit off of the XDA developer's website, and then either using Terminal if you're on uh, OS 10 or Linux, and then if you are on Windows, just simply uh, run that batch file and you're good to go. So once again, big thanks to the guy who created this exploit, and I'm sure there will be more tools along the way. So uh, if this video helped you guys out, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next video.